this indeed is the time of the year when people think about ways to give. But tonight you'll meet a group of people that gives unselfishly of their time and talents all year to help people a half world away who have virtually nothing. Jennifer Gilbert has tonight's cover story now, Lending a Hand. Imagine living in a village with no paved road, no electricity or running water, not even a school. Imagine living your life without ever seeing a doctor. Very poor people uh, that really have nothing. That's the way of life in the Peruvian village of Quark High, some 14,000 feet in the Andes. But Christmas will be a little happier in Park High this year, thanks to some angels from Baltimore. I'm very, very rewarded to see how people are so grateful for what we do. Dr. Armando Sardi is the director of the Cancer Institute at Mercy Medical Center. Gisela Alvarez is a nurse at Mercy. Both are volunteers with the Baltimore-based organization Hands Across the Americas. They have seen a health care crisis, few of us, could even imagine. We have been very privileged. You know, and many of us in the United States don't realize how good we have it here. Anybody can get some sort of medical care. You don't see that in third world countries. Hands Across the Americas sends medical teams and supplies on missions primarily to Central and South America. The volunteers pay their own expenses. A few dozen volunteers may see up to a thousand patients a day and perform some 300 surgeries in one week on patients that walk hours to get help. We do operations for people who, who many times have been told that they're going to die. And we just see them many years later with their grandchildren enjoying life and really having a great quality of life. It's very good. No? Gisela Alvarez has been on four missions with Hands Across the Americas and 11 more with other organizations. This for you, us. Her office is filled with the memories of people like Rania. She's 38 and she looks like she's 60. The mother of six with advanced breast cancer. So her dream was to have clothing for her family, for her kids, for Christmas. So we got her clothing for her kids. So, reminder, not, not everybody's in this world. You can help everybody, but the people that you can help, you know, they appreciate it very much. And there are some people that you can only help so much. And then there are stories like Carmen Rosa, the five-year-old girl from Peru who was suffering four or five seizures a day until she was diagnosed with epilepsy and received the medication she needed to live seizure-free, all thanks to a childhood dream of another girl from Peru. When I was in the hospital in Peru once, I realized and learned that some people were left in the hospital to die because they didn't have um, money for surgeries or even medication. Jennifer Diamond knew that she wanted to help the poor from the time she learned the reward of giving to a man begging for money when she was just eight years old. She experienced firsthand the, the poverty of the people in her hometown and the surrounding area. And, um, She's always wanted to, to give back to her people, and she feels really lucky and blessed with what we have, and has never taken it for granted. After raising their five children, Jennifer and Steve Diamond began making Jennifer's dream a reality, co-founding Hands Across the Americas 12 years ago. I feel like my dream is really coming true. And it is, in the village of Huark High, where Hands Across the Americas is helping to build a fish farm, a greenhouse, and even a school, extending a hand that will help generations to come.